Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are taking a look at the newly released Razer Kraken Ultimate headset. For some reason, when I first bought this and actually saw it on their website, I thought it was like one of the new wireless headsets. You know, it's called the Ultimate. And recently, a lot of their Ultimate products happen to be wireless with the newly released hyperspeed technology that they've been featuring in their Ultimate mice. When the Kraken came out, I saw Ultimate as well. I'm like, right, this one's got to be wireless as well. It's going to feature their new hyperspeed technology. But there was no mention about it being wireless or anything. It's just that the photo displayed on the main page of this headset kind of made it look like it's a wireless one. But this headset is not wireless in any way. There's no battery in here. You can't really use it in a wireless mode. It's a wide headset, but it has a hell of a lot of RGB. To be honest, I'm glad this isn't a wireless headset because they've packed um, a bit more RGB into their headsets than usual in a very different way that I'm not sure how I feel about yet. Um, I'm glad that it's wired and it has a lot of RGB, of course, because there's no battery life problems. So without further ado, link in the description down below to where you can buy this headset. I'll leave links to Amazon and the Razer store down below in the description. All right, let's unbox this guy. Today's video is sponsored by Ezos. If you ever happen to lose any data by accidentally deleting or perhaps formatting an entire flash drive, the Ezos Data Recovery Wizard can help you recover those lost files. Their software is quick and easy to use and can recover more than 1,000 different file types. It works for both Windows and Mac, and it is trusted by more than 72 million users. They also offer free tech support for their software, as well as a 30-day money-back guarantee. So click the first link in the video description to download the Ezos free data recovery wizard to help you recover your lost files. Now back to the video. Oh, what the? Why can't I cut this? Is this knife becoming like too dull? <laughs> it might be the case, right. Oh, man. all right. Whoa. Hmm. Oh yeah, um, I just remembered. I bought a t-shirt as well from the Razer store. Uh, I've looked at their t-shirts many times in the past, but this time I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe I need a Razer t-shirt because I make so many Razer videos. Surely I should have a Razer t-shirt, so I bought one. All right, so we have our Razer t-shirt on. Let's continue on with the unboxing. All right, so here's what the new Razer Kraken Ultimate headset is all about. Active noise cancelling microphone, aluminium and steel construction. Uh, eyewear friendly, cooling gel cushions, the same ones found on the Inari Ultimate headphones that I have right here as well. And of course, RGB. This one happens to have, uh, I'd say, a colossal amount of RGB on headphones. Not only is the logo lighting up, but so is all of this area. Uh, generally in Razer headphones, the ones that have RGB at least, even these wireless ones, uh, just the logo lights up, this part never lights up. But Razer have gone ahead and added, you know, a whole lot more RGB for whatever reason. Taking a look at the side of the box, we have THX Spatial Audio, and Razer have once again chosen to use their 50mm custom-tuned drivers for powerful, detailed sound with immersive bass. And there's really not too much else to cover here. Uh, it has a two-year warranty, and um, really, that's about it. So, let's go ahead and cut the seal at the bottom there, and open these guys up, see how they compare to something like the Nari Ultimate headphones right here, which by the way are like really quite bulky. These apparently though, not only are they made from aluminium, they're also made from steel now, possibly making them even more sturdy, man. Like, okay. Um, first impressions, they do feel very high quality. Uh, you can definitely feel the cold aluminium, you know, on your hands there. First impressions, man, they do feel like very solid, very rigid. Oh, uh, we have, you know, right, left ear cup, of course. They do have a new microphone on here, which, whoa, is of course retractable. I believe this is probably way better than the microphone found on, let's say, the Nari Ultimate headphones, which this is how the microphone looks like on here. Nothing really too special, but hopefully this one sounds pretty good. We are going to do, of course, a sound test and a gaming test with these in just a moment. This microphone does happen to have the new uh, active noise cancelling feature. So it should be quite interesting how it pairs up against, let's say, like a mechanical keyboard being typed on in the background. Hopefully it cancels that out quite well. Taking a look at the cable here, we have a two meter USB cable that is permanently attached to the headset and uh, you know, you can't remove it. So yeah, there's the cable, two meters long, braided, pretty high quality. Taking a look at the left ear cup, we have a little scroll wheel for audio as well as a button. This button here, I believe is the THX spatial audio toggle on off. So once you press this, I think that white light should turn on. And once you press it again, it will turn off and turn off spatial audio by THX. Uh, but let's put this headset down and see what else we get in the box before we do anything else. So for gamers, by gamers, and the little booklet is hidden away just here. So as with all of your Razer products, we get a little letter here from Min Liang Tan, Razer CEO. Sound is just as important as sight when you're in game. And then a bunch of other stuff here as well. And then of course you get your Razer Kraken Ultimate little booklet here, which will tell you all about your new headphones. Uh, the microphone, as with all the Razer ones, will light up red once it's muted. Do you get any Razer stickers with 
this one, I believe you should, and they should be RGB. So you have a massive Razer logo, Razer logo and text, powered by Razer Chrome, and then four gamers by gamers stickers. And uh, that is pretty much all you get inside of the box. All right, let's put them on and see how they feel. Oh, I do need to adjust them because they do feel a little bit weird. Uh, the adjusting mechanism for the headphones, listen to that sound. That's nice, I like that. Can we adjust them more? You can. I've not got that big of a head, but yeah, that feels about right. One thing I've noticed straight away is with the Razer Nari Ultimate headphones that I've been using as my main pair of headphones for I don't even know how many months now, but with these headphones, they have this function where you can rotate the actual ear cups and it makes it very easy to put on the headset. And once you're not using the headset, the headphones can rest on your head like this. And it's just a really nice feature. Something I would have liked to have seen to be included as a feature on the Kraken Ultimate as well. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Instead, these headphones don't have any kind of swivel function on them. Uh, well, they do have a little bit of like leeway, I suppose. But overall, they do still feel like pretty good on my head. Like not too heavy or anything. I want to see how these actually compare uh, side by side to the Nari Ultimate headphones. Okay, so the new Kraken Ultimate headphones definitely feel like it's like a smaller headphone that you're wearing because the Nari ones are pretty gigantic, but they don't feel heavy or anything. They feel pretty good. And the cooling gel infused cushions on here uh, do feel pretty good as well and uh, nice and cool to the touch. So without further ado, we should probably plug these guys in, do a gaming test, go over the software and all and give our final conclusion on these headphones. All right, let's set to the setup. In one of my recent videos, I added this four port USB hub beneath the desk, so I've just plugged the headphones in. Are they lighting up? Oh my god, they are. Look at them. Ooh. Okay, so the effect all around here, it's very subtle, as you can probably tell. I thought it was gonna be like really intense and it was kind of gonna look a bit cheap almost, but the way they've implemented this like added RGB glow all around the headphones that the camera really can't quite pick up, but you can see it in person. It's just like this subtle glow all around, which actually looks all right. Okay, so the mic is currently turned on. I am recording the audio through OBS and we can mute the microphone quite easily by kind of like squeezing it. And there's a little button on there that activates the toggle mute function. And as you can see, once we mute it, a little red LED comes on and that red LED there is quite visible in real life as well so that you can actually tell that your microphone is muted. And then once we unmute it by just pressing it once again, boom, the red light goes off and you can tell that your microphone is working once again. The scroll wheel found on these headphones right here doesn't adjust the volume on the headphones themselves. It actually adjusts the volume in Windows, which is nice to see. On the Razer Nari Ultimate headphones that I'm used to using, they have scroll wheels as well on both the right ear cup and the other ear cup. And those scroll wheels don't adjust the Windows volume. Instead, they adjust the actual headset volume. One thing I am quite interested about is the microphone. Hopefully it does actually sound good and uh, not just like a complete potato. These headphones do cost like 120 or 130 pound on the Razer store. And um, you kind of expect to get hopefully a pretty good mic for that price and pretty decent headphones too. Right, so taking a look at the software here, we do have volume control, of course. We can go ahead and mute the volume for the headset and windows as well. And we can unmute it and like, we can mess around with all the volume and all. But yeah, this is all a thing. We have a THX spatial audio demo, but this isn't the actual toggle for THX, I believe. The actual toggle is over here in the mixer tab. And once we press the THX spatial audio toggle button on the back of the headset here, just above the scroll wheel, a white LED light will come on on the headphones. And as you can see in software, this has now been toggled on. So all of that is controlled here. And then we have calibration. So I guess you can go ahead and calibrate this THX spatial audio thingy. And then we have enhancements, so your normal stuff that you're probably used to seeing on Razer headphones anyway. Bass boost, sound normalization, as well as voice clarity. All these settings here are like, you know, personal preference, I suppose. I generally, uh, I think on the Nari headphones, I have sound normalization on like 10%, a little bit of bass boost, and I don't think I use any voice clarity at all. Uh, but yeah, if you want to enable these settings, you're more than welcome to, you know, it's all optional, of course. We have the EQ or the equalizer settings right here. You can adjust all these different frequencies. There are presets as well. So game, movie, music, and custom. Of course, custom can be whatever you want. You can also make custom profiles here and have custom EQ settings for each profile. Take a look at the microphone page, which is probably what most of you are excited about. We have microphone, which is currently turned on at 75% volume. We have mic sensitivity. We can adjust this from low, medium to high. 
I'm gonna leave this on 50% medium. And then we have a side tone. Let's put this to 50. So one of the main features of the new microphone on the Kraken Ultimate headset is the active mic noise cancellation. We can go ahead and enable that feature right now as I do actually wanna do a full mic test with these. And then finally, there is the lighting page and as for lighting, we get very basic effects as I can see here. So we have the audio meter effect. This will react to music. We have breathing. Uh, we can do green. As you can see, it's going to be breathing in and out of the color green. We have spectrum cycle, as I'm sure you're very familiar with. And then static. Wow, very exciting lighting effects here. However, bear in mind you can go into the Razer Chroma Studio and go absolutely crazy with your RGB lighting effects. Let's go ahead and add the wave effect to these headphones. Now, it's not necessarily the wave effect that you're currently used to seeing as there's like one LED inside of these headphones instead of like, you know, 12 or something that actually make up or like a rainbow wave effect. This is just like a spectrum cycle, but like really quick. It is technically called the wave effect in software. It's just that these headphones can't really do a wave effect. But in terms of the actual lighting effects, you can go ahead and be a lot more creative in software by going into the Chroma Studio. And then you can go ahead and enable just about any lighting effect you want, whether that's starlight, wave, wheel, reactive, ripple, fire, ambient awareness, any of those can be enabled on this headset without any problem. So you can have a ripple effect, ripple through your keyboard, your mouse mat, and then finally into your headphones as well, if you want that. What the hell? I can hear myself through these headphones. I didn't even know that's what side tone was. To be honest, the microphone doesn't even sound too bad. Like I can hear myself speaking through the microphone. This is weird. There's like hardly any delay as well. It's like almost in real time. Okay, I'm going to turn the side tone thing off because it's kind of triggering me. Now wait, am I even using these headphones as like the main one for Windows? Okay, speakers 100%. Whoa. Ooh, I feel like these are going to be hella loud, man. Right, let's go on to deathmatch. Uh, I'm going to check if I've enabled this Razer feature for THX Spatial Audio. Okay, I have the white light is turned on. So we should get 7.1 virtual surround sound. And from my experience using the Razer Nari headphones, that has THX Spatial Audio as well. Let me tell you, it's really good for virtual surround sound. Like, those headphones are really impressive. These, I feel like, are going to be just as good, if not even better. I don't understand why everyone is using shotguns nowadays. Every deathmatch I play now, everyone's on shotguns. In terms of, like, virtual surround sound, like, these are really quite solid. You can very clearly hear where footsteps are indeed coming from. Like, if someone's behind you, you're gonna hear that they're behind you without any problem. Oh yeah, let me just get some lucky shots there. Have you guys played Deathmatch recently? Because this is unreal. Everyone has shotguns. Why? Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging bad. Someone's triggering cameras in the other room. Oh, my ping is 240. Um, it's very enjoyable to play Counter-Strike with my internet. No! Okay, the last thing you want is to be lagging against shotgun people. Why is it like 200 ping? Is someone like downloading stuff? Are they uploading a Snapchat? Oh dear God, he's got a shotgun too! Very clearly heard him in short there. Even with the colossal amount of shotgun noise, that's about all you hear in game, you can still somehow determine footsteps and where people are. Now this entire time I have been recording audio using the Razer microphone. What if we turn off the active mic noise cancellation? Will all of a sudden my keyboard be a lot louder? Will you hear all sorts of like strange background noise? I think my ping has settled down a little bit. It's at like 86. Why am I using a Glock now? Oh, you know, just um, easy flicks, you know. I spawn with a Glock. And then it like lags out and becomes an orb. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to quit this Counter Strike match. I'm lagging too much. Surely we got him there. You know what? I've, I I think I've had enough of Counter Strike. All right. So when it comes to gaming on the Razer Kraken Ultimate headphones right here, it's a pretty good experience. Very similar, I'd say, to the Kraken Ultimate headphones. But I don't know if I like these more or, or less. That is like a difficult question. I feel like comparing these is almost not even fair because these are wireless and like very different headphones in general. But overall, uh, they do seem to be like pretty solid headphones. I would have liked to have seen a few more features added on to this ultimate model of the Kraken. I would have loved to have seen a wireless model. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Like raise a hyperspeed or whatever, you know, pack in a bunch of cool tech in here. Maybe possibly release a Nari V2 because these headphones are by far 
the coolest Razer headphones that you can buy today mainly because of Razer's Hypersense. There's basically like a bunch of like vibrating motors in here that are absolutely fantastic. They work automatically, like there's no software or anything, they just work and it's like one of the coolest experiences ever on headphones. Like every single person I've given these to to try out, like the music listening experience on the Nari Ultimate headphones, nothing beats it, honestly, it's the best thing ever. I wonder how these sound for music, so I'm gonna head over to Spotify and let's listen to some music, man. Let's try them out. We got Lil Baby, whoa. Let's play a bit of that, see how these headphones sound when it comes to music. And I'm gonna, of course, try to max the volume out and see how loud these headphones even get. You know, test out the bass and all, see how this are for music. Hello? Dominoes? Uh, give me one moment. Did we order Dominoes? Yeah. Oh, so when it came to music, these do sound pretty fine. Uh, nothing special, nothing crazy to blow me away or anything in terms of like sound quality and all. But for music, these are more than fine in my opinion. But apart from that guys, this has been my little unboxing slash review of the Razer Crack and Ultimate Headphones. The microphone on here is very impressive, does sound pretty damn good. And the overall headset build quality, fantastic. Pretty insane amount of RGB in here as well. Not only is the Razer logo itself lighting up, but so is the entire like outer perimeter of where the Razer logo sits. It all looks pretty cool and all. And of course, these LEDs are completely optional if you don't want your headphones to be flashing away different colors and all, you can of course just turn them off. But apart from that guys, thank you all so much for watching. Link in the description is where you can buy the Razer Crack and Ultimate. I'll leave links to Amazon as well as the Razer Store in case you want to go learn more about the product. Look at all the specs and stuff in case you're into that kind of thing. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.